Is this the last reality stunt for you? I think I have like one season of being The Bachelor and then I'm good for after Really? <laughs> yeah. You want to be The Bachelor? <laughs> Wait, aren't, are you not in a relationship? <laughs> yeah, yeah, once this is over. <laughs> What's up, you guys? I'm Rachel Demita, and welcome to the Courtside Club. Today, I have the one and only Harry Jowsey joining me. You guys might know him from the show Too Hot to Handle, or you follow him on all his social media accounts because you've grown tremendously since that show. Yeah. Harry, welcome to the Courtside Club. Thank you for having me. This is awesome. No, it's uh, it's been a crazy, crazy experience. I just did uh, Floor is Lava, which, was, which just come out, and that was nuts. It's the only athletic thing I've ever done. I did want to ask about that because yeah. you said that you're not so much of an athlete, but I beg to differ because I feel like you, you look pretty athletic. <laughs> no, it's, no. <laughs> it's all for show. Like literally you asked me to do anything, run like a hundred yard sprint, I'll, I'll fall over and pass out. Like I'm I'm the most unathletic person. So how did Flores Lava go? Um, I fell in, yeah, and ruined it for everyone. So. <laughs> That, that's exactly how it went. <laughs> Honestly, though, if I were to lose something for everybody, I would like to do it on Netflix. Like the biggest platform you could possibly do it on. The issue was I did it on the I did a course previously on their YouTube channel. Okay. And I was so arrogant and cocky by the time they actually asked me to do it for the actual Netflix. So like with the lads, I was just talking the most amount of shit. I was like, this is how you have to go about it, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then I also was, I'm very competitive. So I'm like, Let's see who can finish it first. Okay. And of course, I just like s slipped over on the stupidest thing and like fell in and then, but we ended up, we ended up winning it. So it was okay. And that was a reality show versus reality show Floor is Lava, correct? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, a crazy. lot of people do know you from Too Hot to Handle. Yeah. So I feel like also in a lot of your podcast interviews, you're talking about like sex or dating. Yep. Which we're not going to do today. I'm going to take you out of your comfort zone. Wow. That's cool. Wow. <laughs> That's cool with you. Awesome. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> but I do want to know a little bit more about Too Hot to Handle because I think that show, like myself as a viewer, none of us were expecting a show where they say, oh, we're going to put a bunch of people in this house on this beautiful island and tell them not to have sex. A lot of us were kind of rolling our eyes at the concept. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, like really Netflix? Like this is the, the content you're giving us? Yeah. <laughs> But then everybody tuned in. So, and it crazy. ended up being a massive <laughs> success. So, how did that show come about for you? Um, before that, I was, I did a show called Heartbreak Island in New Zealand, and I won that. And I moved in with my best friend from the show. And I was kind of wait, just, I didn't know that. Yeah. Heartbreak Island? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're from, you're from Australia. New Zealand is like right there. Yes. I'm it's getting like a two my job. flat away. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Where did that air? <laughs> and I didn't know this. No, That's it was cool. like only in New Zealand. So, okay. But it was like years and years ago. I think I was like 18 or 19 when I okay. went on the show. But yeah, won that. And then um, was kind of just like, well, this sucks. Like I'm really bored and I just want to make people laugh. So then I just started applying for a bunch of shows and I have a UK passport. So I was like, maybe I'll give Love Island UK a shot. Um, uh, okay. I think it was like 20 or 21 at the time when I was applying for these. And then, no, it was 20. And then uh, the same people that were casting Love Island UK we're just like, we're doing this other show, which we think is better suited for you. Cause mind you, when I was going into my old like interviews and stuff, yeah. I was just going in like shirtless or in my undies or just, cause I was like, I have to stand out. Like everyone's here, like being like scared. I'm just like- Honestly, it's a smart thing to do. Yeah. For sure. I think like you just- Cause there's so many people going in. There was, I think there was 10,000. Yeah. So it, it worked. Uh, and then, yeah, it was the the people who were casting and they just said, we ha like, we would love to have you on this other show, but we can't tell you what it is. So I'm like, oh, well, life's, life's a mystery. So I'll just go with it. And yeah. I ended up on that show. It was the best thing that happened to me. So speaking along those lines, I modeled a little bit when I was younger. Didn't love it, but it was paying my bills at the time. And I would go into castings with my basketball because that was the only <laughs> thing that was like really? making me different. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I would go in for like whatever, oh, wow. pack sun or something, <laughs> and I'd just bring a ball. And sometimes they'd be like, um... Uh, they wouldn't understand. Did you dribble or you just like stood there with it? Like I would stand there with it or sometimes like spin it or, ah. or do whatever. Um, it worked That's in my fun. favor in some ways. Yeah. You know, other ways are like, this girl's weird. Like get her out of here. Um, That's awesome. But yeah, you know, standing yeah, like out, like you said. <laughs> yeah, you have to. Because like everyone's just going to be there like normal. And then you just come in with a basketball and start doing backflips. Like people want to be like, I remember her. Right. 
there's awesome. there's a lot of, of people in our industry so to stand out is a tough thing to do especially yeah. with how saturated it is and <laughs> with you specifically you know coming off of too hot to handle there's been so many people who've come in and out of reality shows mm. who leave the show they have their couple months of people recognizing who they are and then you never hear about them again yeah or they're doing something really bizarre to try to like get back into that what was your plan after coming off too hot i think that i just knew that there was like a shelf life of like a month like we're going to be the coolest people for a month <laughs> yeah. and like everyone's <laughs> going to want to be our friends and then they're going to realize that we actually don't have any talents and we aren't that cool and we're just like boring people and be sick of us so my goal for like literally as soon as the show come out i made a rule with myself i'm not going to say no to any opportunity i don't care who it is like i don't i'm not too cool for anyone so that was the biggest thing is anytime someone hit me up to collab or do anything, I was like, sure, I'll come over and we'll do a video. And cool. and it, it helped me because I didn't know anything about like social media. Like I, I obviously have this show and there's an audience and people like tuning in and like coming across, but. Wait, before you went in, how many followers? Like uh, 70, 60,000 on Instagram and like okay. not on TikTok. I didn't have a TikTok account. And you're on, you have like 4 million now on I, Instagram? Yeah, uh, four, four, four and a half, I think, and then 4.8 on TikTok. That's crazy. Crazy. In a span of like what, a year and a half? Yeah, it was pretty wild. But like, you look like Bella Porsche and she's like, that's that's crazy. So you're comparing yourself to no, somebody who's no, like, no, no. No. but I'm like in the grand yeah. scheme of things, like it's it's awesome, but it's also like the grand scheme of things, people have done it like a, a lot bigger. But yeah, ever since then, I think uh, my goal was to just try and get on as big as I can on as many platforms as I can. And my biggest regret is not doing a podcast sooner because that was just being able to talk to people and, and hang out was the best thing. I think people getting to know you a little bit better because obviously they will have some sort of uh, notion of the type of person that you are from just seeing you on realities. Yeah. But I, I heard you talk about it in another interview. I mean, you guys were there for how long on Too Hot to Handle? It was a month. Yeah, and I mean, we saw what, 10 hours of it? Yeah, it's crazy. So one episode was three days and then there was, I think there was one day of the month where yeah. they weren't filming anything. Like everyone had a day off, which is like really weird because they get, you know, like a, really allowed to talk to each other. Um, because, Why? Because they don't. Oh, they didn't the want to catch a yeah, moment like, like, like that no they couldn't there. show. Yeah, so it was really interesting to. I don't know. The, the so wait, you didn't get to talk to each other? Where they just like put you guys in separate rooms? No, no, and... no. We have, like we still have the villa, but they're just like, please, like respect like the process. Like we're doing really well. It's the end of the show. Like we're just mm -hmm. gonna film like pickups and stuff like that. But please, like, don't say anything too crazy because uh, on these okay. reality shows, like they have. If you say we had an argument mm -hmm. or I have something that I want to get off my chest, yeah, they'll make sure there's a producer between us until there's like cameras ready to set up. So it could go like days without having a conversation with you about what I want to talk about and like get it out of the oh. way. So by like day two, like maybe I'm so a it bit builds more angry. up more than yes, we that's actually. That's so dramatic. Yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> why like we we look like the biggest because <laughs> like it's been days where I just want to tell you like right. I hate you or like get it out of the way and right. like move on and like I can't get it out of my head like until we have that conversation. So it's really interesting. Right, and we're in, at home thinking like, why are they freaking out about somebody like taking their protein bar? Literally, you know? it's, like, <laughs> it's like the end of the world. And then when someone goes home, it feels like they've just been like hung up and like murdered in front of everyone. <laughs> Cause like, yeah, all you have is like this little incubator right. and everyone's there. And then suddenly someone goes you're like, holy <laughs> they've just been like, they've had the death sentence, like they're gone. It's like the crying, the like shaking, yeah, yeah, the so like, real. I don't know what to do. This was my best friend. <laughs> Literally. And we're watching at home, like you guys have known each other for two hours. Yeah. Like, what the hell? And then hell? like 30 minutes later, everyone's like, fine. Like, oh, should we go have some Oreos? Like it's <laughs> completely normal. It's so weird. So is this the re the last reality stunt for you? Um, I think I have like one season of like, being the bachelor and then I'm good for it after Really? <laughs> no, yeah. You want to be the best? <laughs> no. Wait, aren't are you not in a relationship? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Once this is over. <laughs> I, I mean, wasn't gonna ask I'm about gonna dating and then he brings that. up I mean, the bachelor. No, I'm just never kidding. Gonna, we're never gonna break up. Yeah. Yeah. Unless the bachelor wants to be yours. <laughs> <laughs> She'll understand. She can just wait. Honestly, that makes for a great story as you're leaving. Yeah. You know they always have some sort of scandal, like somebody had yeah. a girlfriend or boyfriend who, yeah i've actually they, like, got a wife and about. kids and a mortgage and then i mean i like, wouldn't oh, go fuck. that far but like you know <laughs> <laughs> no but i don't know reality shows are they're pretty stressful so i'm i'm trying to get more into the scripted uh side of things and like study and like understand it a little bit more because reality shows are kind of just like a bunch of talentless people trying to 
uh, get famous and like Instagram followers. So it's it's a different world and it's very competitive. I mean, competitive. you said it, not me. I'm just oh, kidding. It's because I am one. <laughs> yeah. You know? But it's a, it's a very like, I don't know, it's, it's such a competitive world. Like yeah. you, you're it, like the scripted and like hosting side, you guys get like excited for each other to get like another show. But as soon as you say something to someone who's like on reality TV, they're like, oh, you serious? Like it's really weird. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's a weird world. So there's like little clicks that come out of it. Yeah, so I don't talk to any of them because I'm like, I just want everyone to have their own abundance. There's opportunities for everyone and like do yeah. your thing. And then if I start saying about like, they ask me how my life is or what I'm doing, it's kind yeah. of just like, well, you were just trying to rub it in. I'm like, no, I'm just. That's actually really interesting because I wouldn't expect that, especially because you see a lot of people after reality shows like posting with each other oh, they hate or each like other. commenting. Oh, no, I hate each other. It's the weirdest. <laughs> Because the first show that I did, <laughs> yeah. I was like in there, like telling everyone how much I, I was like, you're my best friend. And then you watch it back and you're like, oh, you're actually a b Like, why would you say that about me? Because like, you have to imagine. <laughs> right. You've had an argument with someone and then in your head and in real life, you like got rid of it. And then a year later, you have to watch it back and then you have to right. see how they think about you. And right. then everyone else, how they talk about you. And it's like, oh. That hurts. And the producers push you yes. to like really get yes. into the nitty gritty of yes. it. Yeah. So then like after these shows, everyone's posting like they're friendly, but they're all right. like, there's like wars going on in the DMs. Right. It's crazy. It's really weird. So one scripted show or a movie that you think that you would be a good fit for? Um, I was, I think Out of Banks would be so much fun just because I met them. Yeah. And every single person is such like a, a nice person. But to be honest, I was thinking like a movie that I would really love to do was like forget. Wait, it. Do they surf in Outer Banks? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, I don't they know. look like surfer kids. Yeah, yeah. I think okay. I don't know where they film it, but it looks really. So nice. I was gonna say you you said you weren't coordinated, and I oh, might no be way. nervous about you getting on a surfboard. Yeah, no, no. I'm like, yeah, I've, surf surfing is my biggest enemy. Um, okay, so if it wasn't Outer Banks, I think like forgetting Sarah Marshall, like that type of movie, like that fun, like comedy, and like yeah, you know, that's, that's the the route I want to go down. Are there any, I know you're from Australia, but are there any actors that you have seen that you kind of look up to or you think that might be a style that I you'd want to play? I think as canceled as James Franco is, I think like if you take away the real life scary stuff that he's done and just like look at his art, I think like he's really cool. Uh, Ashton Kutcher and then uh, someone like, I don't know, like I feel like Kevin Hart is really just like, it's funny. Like you watch right. his movies and you're like, oh, excited because you know you're going to have a good time and like laugh. Right. I feel like that's the type of impression I want to leave on people. Yeah. You know, either if they're laughing at me or with me, just I just want to make people laugh. Kevin Hart is one of those people who like embodies that he's short, you yeah. know, takes like people will make jabs at him, but he just kind of takes it and it gives him this kind of approachable nature. I've never met the guy, but yeah. I feel like he'd be somebody who would be cool and approachable in real yeah. life as well. Yeah. I feel like it's the best way to be because then you're just, I don't know, life's just way more fun. If you're worried about what everyone's saying about you, then you're just going to be sad. Yeah. So um, on Courtside Club, I like to take a halftime break and yep. play a little game. So today, I wanted to play a game of paper football. I'm not sure if you're familiar. You're from oh Australia. God. This is kind of an American like cafeteria school game. Yeah. No, we definitely we definitely did it. Cool. I thought you were going to say play basketball or something. I was like, I'll, I'll fall over trying to dribble the ball. <laughs> we'll Crazy. save that for another day. There's a lot of equipment in this room. Um, but if you could school me on rugby during the game oh, i would sick. really appreciate that because i know nothing you don't know anything about rugby oh it's like religion where we're from okay great are we gonna do it together yeah i guess we could do you okay. remember how no so this is a <laughs> this is an extra long sheet of paper why are they so long i don't know how did you get the long paper i've uh, never seen that in my front life. front desk okay so but what i discovered oh. is i think we need to make it like as skinny as possible so I think threes, like if you can fold in threes. Right. Let's see. Have you watched the game of AFL? Do you know what that is? You don't know what AFL is? American Football League? Are you crazy? That's insulting. Wait, AFL. Every, no, I'm like looking for help and like no, every just blankly staring you know at me. It it's I, minor league NFL? No, it's Australian sport. They have an oval field, four sticks, and they run around and they have, it's like it's like our football. Four sticks. Yeah, so there's like two little ones. And Not two sticks ones. as like. No, they're the goalposts. Oh, okay, okay. But they don't have any like T-bars or anything like that. Okay. That's pretty much our main sport. I, I, I'm assuming it's called Australian. Wait, football what's League. the ball look like? 
Uh, it's oh, Australian Football League, that makes more sense. I, th- I think that's what it says. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that isn't what it is, but I don't know the definition of AFL, but all I know is that we play it in Australia. So it's like a football shape. Is it the same rules? No, it's different. You can't pass the ball. So like rugby, you have to pass it, like and it has to go behind you. Like I know at NFL, you, you chuck it like that. You can pass it backwards in the NFL. The only person who can like... You can go forward, but it can't pass that line. Once right. you go over that line, then you can toss it back. But, but with N- uh, AFL, we, uh, <laughs> they, <laughs> so, this, I'm, I don't, I'm trying to copy you, but I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, and we'll see who's ends up better. Yeah, mine's definitely. So I think maybe fold that under. So okay. where they're, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, good call. Um, but they can't pass the ball Here's to each other. Be they have to uh, kick it to each other and they don't pass. They, they hit it like that. They have the ball in their hand and they have to hit it with their hand. So it's like a volleyball serve. Pretty much. Mixed with soccer, American soccer. It's like a huge game of ping pong because they have to like kick it to each other from- seven. How big is the ball? Well, I don't know why you're tripping about the ball. <laughs> well, because, no, I have, because that makes a huge difference of what you're kicking or it's what like you're a, hitting out of your hand. Yeah, it's like a normal size ball. Like it's, but it's longer. I don't know if we have a, have you got a photo of it? There you go, look. Okay. So it's like a Thank football, you. but like, so yeah, like <laughs> but like people jump up on each other. It's cra- it's chaos. But personally- Do they wear pads? No. Okay. They wear singlets. But personally, I've oh, never like, seen like a game. Oh, like unitards? What's a unitard? Right? It was a singlet. What is a unitard? Okay, can we have a photo of a singlet? Is it a unitard? Hey, tank top. Tank top. There you go. Yeah. The thing is, never seen an AFL game in my life because- only- So you schooled me about not knowing what no, it was. No, I know what AFL it- is, but I've never seen a game because it's only- Here's the crazy shit about Australia. It They only watch it in the bottom half of Australia. So there's like only like three oh. major cities that play it. Okay. And the rest of us play rugby league and rugby union, which is really crazy. Okay. Hold up, what's the next step? Okay, so once you get here, actually yours might be better. So then of you course. start folding in triangles like down the paper. Oh. No, 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 but both. Hey, what do you mean? Both like sides? both, yeah, yeah, there you go. Woo. And uh, then it just kind of goes back to back. Okay, so rugby league and rugby union. And these are pro leagues. Pro league? Professionals? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. So like, technically, okay. if you look at it, they look exactly the same, but there's just different rules. So like in rugby league, there's 13 players on the field for each team. Okay. And then on rugby union, I believe it's 15. Okay. And then rugby union, the game is constantly going. So like, there's a um, <laughs> there's a ruck. People dive in, you get the ball, you pass it back, and then you can keep like moving forward. But if you get tackled. If you're on the ground, say you, say I tackle you and you're on the ground and I get back on my feet, I can rip the ball off you. But then your guys, it's just really difficult. So when does the referee call like a dead ball? Pretty much they don't, unless like- Never? Unless someone like knocks it on or which is Or like, if it goes out of bounds? Yeah, out of bounds. And then they do a line out. So then there's a- <laughs> <laughs> So then you're at, okay. No, it's okay, I'm, I'm, I'm getting it. So but. on the, on the sideline, there's a guy that stands there and then there's a line of your boys and then there's a line of the opposite team and they lift someone up to catch the ball in the air. So this guy like throws it over his head and it has to go straight down the middle. So very similar to American soccer. Because What wh- is American soccer? Do you guys have your own soccer? <laughs> what? <laughs> wait a second. There's more soccer? You have your okay, own? Hold on. So Are wait. we going backwards like that? In... Yeah, so you just kind of keep going over the one over the top okay. to make the paper football. American soccer. So, okay, do you guys call soccer like the black and white ball soccer? The black and white ball soccer. I've never heard of <laughs> soccer being referred <laughs> no, to that no, as well. No, 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 no. Sorry, I'm so sorry. But like, you guys know what I'm talking about because in the I UK- I know what soccer is. Yes. With the ball. Like yeah, the round Yeah, but why is there ball. an American one? Because in the UK, you guys they, just want your they own- call American soccer football. Like football, I guess. Probably is a better way to say it. Yeah. So in Australia, I'm asking you guys call it soccer also. Yeah. Okay, that was me assuming that you guys might have also called oh, it football. Sorry, okay. my bad. Okay, <laughs> okay. So I was just stressed. And this is stressful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> okay. Okay, hold up. <laughs> I cannot, I wish we had like a zoom in. <laughs> what are you? Making the football. No, this is the toughest thing I've okay. ever done in my life. You got this. So how you described it was very similar to when you're playing soccer, how they inbound the ball. Yeah, but because there's the a bunch of guys jump. there trying to grab it. They do that in soccer, but they don't normally lift each other up. I think that might be just like the difference yeah. between rugby is that you're allowed to lift people up. Yeah, and look, we're allowed to get a little bit more aggressive as well. And there's no pads. See, we 
love just hurting each other. And I was actually really terrible at rugby union. I went to New Zealand where the boys are a lot bigger. <laughs> Don't judge me until it's done. Okay. <laughs> the boys are a lot bigger in New Zealand. Yeah. And I thought I was really good. And then I went there and yeah. I had a knee reconstruction and the whole shebang. Oh, they, geez. They really f***ed me up. What yeah. was the injury? Uh, I tore my ACL and there was a bunch of other things in there that decided like to pop out. Yeah. yeah. It was so much fun, especially at 17. But then I was like annoyed because I couldn't play anymore. Right. So like, it was like three or four months later, I just strapped it up and I was like, I'm going to figure it out after I had a surgery, which was terrible. And right. my doctor was really angry at me, but I was also like, dude, Hit. I'm a gazelle. Like I need to get out there. <laughs> um, That's funny. Okay. So you said that there's a difference between rugby league and rugby union. I cannot watch this football making. I'm going to lose it. <laughs> Do you it's not the right way. But can you show the camera what's going on? You're like, you didn't help No, she did the other side. I don't know <laughs> You're making I'm it like doing. an accordion. Shh. Here, can I get you started? Because I finished mine, so we can get into playing okay. it or we could try it with yours. Okay. So basically, you were on the right track, you just fold it over the top. Do you see what I mean? You, yeah, yeah, you can do it. You got it, you okay. got it. Show us how. I don't know what I'm doing. Like you were you, on the right path. You were just making it like an accordion, not like a... Yeah, like, I was trying to do it a little bit more like spice and a little bit more style, but that's okay. <laughs> it just might break apart when we're... Recording. Now you don't know what you're doing. Oh, okay. It's so much easier that way. a lot in school. Yeah. What games yeah. did you play in school? Like... Like in, in like a school gym class, what were the games? I know different schools in Australia, you do different things. So like in uh, New Zealand, they do like rugby. There's like a rugby class, like at school. So like people just study rugby. Cause it's oh, like, wow. it literally, it's like the, it's like our NFL. So people just like their yeah. whole goal when they go to school is to like be picked up by a team. So you'll find in New Zealand, a lot of the boys that are there actually like way too old because they're holding themselves back until they get picked up by a team. So oh, they look way better. Okay. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why when I went to New Zealand, and I played, I was 17, skinny and they're like little 20. sausage. Yeah, like 20 and they're like yeah. built like trucks. Yeah. So I thought I was gonna be really good and turns out like I actually suck and they're big and scary. Yeah. But um, Well, I, I wanted to bring this up. You know, Steven Adams is in the NBA and we talked about it a little, but he is one of the biggest players in the NBA. Who is this guy again? He's like, he, he looks very similar to Aquaman. And, and he comes from a big family as well, and like yeah. all of his siblings and everything, but from New Zealand. They all, so, they're yeah. all huge. Like He's that. really big and yeah. strong and tall, yeah. Here's the thing, like, I was so tall and skinny when I was a kid. Yeah. And then I think when I tried to play sport and everyone was just like way better than me, I was just like, you know what? Being athletic isn't the end goal for me, so I'm just yeah. gonna try and be funny. Just pivoted. Yeah, and now it worked here we out are. For you. Yeah. <laughs> right, I guess. And we're gonna play a game of paper football. I'm okay. just gonna use mine because the, the other one, like, for some reason, it didn't, didn't turn out good. It, it, it didn't. Okay. So, do you want to play by the rugby scoring? Oh, if you don't know what it's mine. No, I forgot, because rugby rugby league and rugby union is different. Do you remember it? It's fine. Well, okay. okay. So. I <laughs> okay. I haven't been home in three years, so I have no idea. Okay, no worries. Okay, okay. so. But I said. I do need... you remember how to play, though? You so just you... flick it, yeah? No. So, you shuffle oh. it. <laughs> Listen. Sorry. <laughs> Don't be stressed. I promise. It's like if you're not good at it, we're good. Okay. okay. Flick it like that, and the goal is to get it hanging off the edge, and that gives you the touchdown. Do you remember? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Let's go. Do you want me to start with it? Yeah. So we get two passes each. Okay. So I'll start. Like we'll start with a touching on the edge. Okay. Ready? You're stressing. Well, I'm... That's embarrassing. Oh no, that wasn't very good. If it goes off the edge. Then is it like that? Do you get to kick a field goal if it goes off the edge? Can we flick it, or does he have to do four? So it has to be like that. You can't like push it along. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so <laughs> let me. So now I get to kick a field goal. Okay. For a point. <laughs> okay. Ready? Like that? Mm -hmm. Really? That's how you're gonna do it? That's how I do it. Yeah. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> wow. Is it my turn now? Yeah. Okay. No, it's my turn. Okay. Because you went off. So you don't want to go off the edge. All right. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. <laughs> We got this. Come oh. on. Okay, one. Dang it. Oh, okay. My turn? Yeah. Okay, watch this magic mustard, Eddie. Was that oh. one? Yeah, that was one. Yeah. Okay, so we'll give you a point for that. Good. Thank and then you. you get the you get the ball. I go again. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. Oh. To the yeah. There you go. You get one more hit. Oh, no. oh that was close. That was close. 
Okay. Uh, uh. Dang it! <laughs> this table also is like uh, not you sliding. You can't blame the table. I'm on fire. Oh, f also, and I get to kick another field goal. You're good. You got this. You get one. Oh, you won. I cannot. I'm actually quite pissed because I, the one who thought of this game. Okay, don't worry. You got it again. Don't worry. I'm, I'm handing them to you. I always used to do it like Try, this. Go, yeah. No, it I don't know. It makes you feel comfortable. Yes. Oh, sick. All right, one to one. First one to get a touchdown wins. Okay. No, you get the ball because I just scored. Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah look up whatever. Okay, yeah, then you have the ball. Are you even trying anymore? <laughs> no. You just hit it off the edge. <laughs> no, I was passing it to you. Oh, okay. I was just practicing. Okay, okay, okay. I was just too strong. It's crazy. <gasps> oh! Dang! <laughs> that was so close. Okay, first one to get a touchdown. Okay. Okay. Cash. <gasps> that was close, oh, too. Okay, I, I know how to do it now. Oh, no. <laughs> Honestly, let's just do this. We have to get a touchdown. <gasps> Game. Wow! Redemption, go ahead, see if you can get it. Actually, oh. let me kick a field goal to see if I get the extra <laughs> point. Cause you know, you get extra point in football. Do you yeah. get that in rug rugby? Yes. Cool. I think. Yes! Oh! <laughs> All right, Don't you got one possession to see, cause since I got the ball first, you get one possession to okay. see if you can also get a touchdown and a field goal, and if not, okay, I win. Do it in my eyes close. Did I do it? No. No, not even close. That, anyways, <laughs> good match. Oh. <laughs> I'll take the dub this time. <laughs> I gave it to you. All right, you guys, it's time for the second half. All right, so I recently saw you at the Indy 500, or actually yes. saw your posts on social media. How did that come about? Um, I've done a bunch of them. So like they- A bunch of car races? Yeah, they just send me to them. Really? Yeah, they're so cool. They're the coolest people ever. So like Indy car, We'll be like, oh, you want to come to Nashville? And then they'll send me to Nashville and really? then I'll like race around and like um, just hang out with them. They're really cool people. And then we did another one um, where they got me like a private jet. Really? <laughs> yeah. IndyCar did. Yes. <laughs> They're really cool people. <laughs> I don't know. I guess because I love it so much and I post so much. But yeah, Indy 500 was out of control. Did you have a good time? So that was my first indie. I did not know what to expect at all. And we got to walk on the track, yeah. which was really cool. And like see all the cars before they went. Yeah. So besides indie, are there any other sporting events that you've been to or maybe that you want to go to? Um, I've been to an NBA game. Which one? It was a good one. Yeah, it was a really good one. <laughs> that, I'm gonna kill you. What city were you in? I was in Boston. There was a okay, green, green guys and the other guys. <laughs> okay, so the Celtics. What time? Of, I'm gonna figure out exactly what game this was. Was it during playoffs? If you tell me it was during playoffs, we're gonna have an issue. What is playoffs? Is that like the grand final? Because I did the, I did the, I've been to a bunch of NFL games, and then ice okay. hockey is my favorite one. I don't understand okay. it. They're just so aggressive and like hectic, and like it's nonstop. Right. Whereas I feel like NFL is kind of boring because it's like stop start, and you're just like whatever. I have yet to hear anybody say the NFL is boring. That's Ooh, like, really interesting. No, it's good, but like also the sports that I grew up watching was like nonstop like action for 80 minutes. And right. then NFL was like hours. I'm like, yo, like I have, sh like, I got a job. Like I got <laughs> to do. Like, I have to go home and feed my dog. Like, this is crazy. <laughs> so I feel like I'm the exact opposite. Yeah. I grew up playing basketball. I ran track, played softball and soccer. Mm. And hockey to me are two sports that are hard for me to get into, but it is the same thing. And like, they just never stop moving. Yeah, it's fun. But there's not a lot of scoring involved. You, you a sport of basketball yeah. that I played, that's like the hundred points or more in an NBA game. Yeah, that's you know crazy. Game? Yeah, like NBA is fun. I, like, yeah. I enjoy that. But like NFL was just like so long. Like even the, what's it? So what NFL games have you been to? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Ah, uh, the Chargers. I mean, a bunch. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are they good? I don't was know. Was it the Rams or was it the Chargers? Because there's them. They're two. They're each other. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. So it was both LA teams against each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. Okay. OBJ is on one of them. Yeah, that was when he was still playing. Mm -hmm. He's great. Wait, when he was still playing? <laughs> Wasn't he? Didn't he? Has he got a broken leg again? Yeah, but that happened in the Super Bowl. Were you at the Super Bowl? No. Okay, I was, was gonna Indy. say. No, I was. No, where was I? I was somewhere else. <laughs> so I was. I was not here. I was the only person in LA that decided to leave that weekend. I don't okay. know where I went. So in that game is yeah. when he got injured. Ah. That so sucks. they won the Super Bowl. 
awesome. and they were playing against the Bengals. I'm from Ohio, and the Bengals are from an uh, Ohio team. Uh, awesome. So there's two teams in Ohio. That's so much fun. Next time we'll do. <laughs> you schooled me on rugby. Next time I'll yeah. I'll help you out with basketball. Yeah, it, and like, rugby's great because they also fight as well. We have this thing called State of Origin, so it's New South okay. Wales versus uh, Queensland, and that's like the big <laughs> like that. Literally is like our Super Bowl. Like we're just, everyone's like locked in. It's three games. It's so intense. The Queensland always smashes them because we're f unreal. So it's just a rivalry between two teams? Yeah. If you, like, Is there like a Super Bowl for rugby though? Oh, sorry. It's not a rivalry for, between two teams. It's like rivalry between the states. So where you grew up. So if you're on, uh, anyway, what were you saying? Super Bowl for rugby? Yeah. No, like it's, we call it the grand final, but it's also like, well, in the it's really interesting. Like a normal game in America, you have yeah. like eighty thousand people that will go in the crowd. Right. That's like how that's like maxing out. Like that's how big it's like crowd. Okay. It's crazy. Do you know like and this is just out of pure curiosity? Do you know what kind of money like you make? Because obviously, like for a lot of kids to they want to be professional athletes because yeah. that kind of like paves the way. If you play sports in college, like mm -hmm. I did, you get your whole college paid for. Wow. If you're on a sports team at a division one level, so basically that highest level of college. So there are a lot of people who like they're like the only way I'm going to college is if I'm good enough at whatever sport so that I get my college paid for. And that's how wow. they get through. And then obviously, you know, the contracts in the NBA and NFL are, yeah. like, are really big. Is it similar to that in no. rugby? No. No, you like a couple hundred thousand dollars a year. I think like a few people are making a few mil. Yeah. But nothing like, and it's also Australian. So it's yeah. like half American. Are there any actors or athletes that you know from the US that you think would do really well in rugby? I think like all of them, like it's, I don't know, like I feel- Any that you know personally. You said you know Blake Griffin. Yeah, he's, like I think he's, he's just such a big dude. Yeah. But then again, like the boys there, I don't know, it's just like completely different. And and the games are a lot quicker. And we also have like this thing called sevens, which is like seven people on a team. And that oh. those games like so quick. And like the fitness on those guys is crazy. But yeah, and yeah. you come to America and you guys like have, you have a special team, you have a defense team, office, Offense, whatever the whatever the other yeah, teams yeah, offense, called. Yeah, offense, yeah, yeah, offense and defense. Yeah, yeah, we just have one, one team on each side, and then a few people on the bench. So like everyone's like fit and like ready to rumble. You guys just just rich and have a bunch of people playing for you. It's crazy. NBA All Star. Can yeah. we get you to NBA All Star next year? That's a place that you've never been. Never been. Didn't know what it was before I entered this room. Uh, yeah, look, I would love to. Just to, the normal people don't play, do they? It's just like actual athletes. You said there's a celebrity one. There is a celebrity game. So I played in that. It's <sighs> a it. it's a mix though, because like like I've played in it and I was obviously like a former basketball player, but like Justin Bieber's played in it as well. Like Kevin Hart mm. played in it for years, actually. He was like the OG NBA All-Star celebrity game wow. player. So it's really a mix. Like Tiffany Haddish played last year. There's like some reality stars. So some people are really good, but then like- Can anyone be the referee? Cause I'd prefer to do that. Like I don't okay. know the rules, I just wouldn't want to run- Also, you know what you could do? They they have like a, a main coach and then like an assistant coach. So the year I played in LA, Michael B. Jordan was the assistant who's an actor, obviously. Yeah, you know course. Michael B. Jordan, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you could maybe even do something like that where you're assistant coach. They wouldn't get any <laughs> good coaching out of me, but I would definitely Hey, go. we got to get your confidence up. You have about like, <laughs> eight months or something before yeah. February. So yeah, we'll, we'll get you hops. there and like get you the ropes of basketball. Well, yeah, I need to. <laughs> With that, we are reaching the end of the game. So I wanted to ask you some buzzer beaters. All right. So break down your ideal courtside fit. If you were to sit courtside again at a Boston oh, Celtics oh, game. At a basketball game? Yeah. Oh. Uh, honestly, basketball, football, but you are courtside. You are right next to all the action. See, the thing what is, are you like, I just wear like short gym pants everywhere and like long okay. white socks and like white shoes. But I think courtside, you'd have to have, wear like some cargos, like something like, okay. like a little bit more dressy. Um, and then exact, probably what I'm wearing here, just like an oversized tee and like, yeah, just an oversized clothes. Cool. That's what I like. What is your ideal food and drink combo while sitting courtside? Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Well, we have like meat pies in Australia. You guys don't have those. You could have that. I would love to have that. I miss okay. those. Yeah, I feel like a meat pie and we call them 
Yeah, whatever. We'll call them corn dogs. That's what you. Yeah, so yeah. They're fun. I haven't had that in a while. Okay. I would appreciate that. And then for drink? Um, because I'm not drinking, probably a water. Okay. That works. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or if I was getting drunk, I'd, I'd be on, yeah, having beers with the boys. Last but not least, what is one event in history? It could be a sporting event, could be anything else that you would have loved to have been courtside for. Um, when gladiators were alive. You know, when that was happening, I'd love to just see yeah. like guys go against lines and, and then just nuke each other. You know, just like get an amp, stab each other. I feel like that'd be crazy to watch. Imagine just watching people just gut each other. Yeah, it'd be, I, I mean, I don't know. I feel like I might get sick from oh, that. I would but, be disgusted, but right. it'd be like just something that you'd have, to, it'd be interesting. Like the whole yeah, crowd. absolutely. Like people in sandals and like bathrooms. It's like real life Game of Thrones. It'd be crazy. Yeah. yeah. Like Hunger Games. Right. Yeah. All right, Harry, thank you so much for coming on the Courtside Club. Let everybody know where they can find you on socials. Uh, thanks for having me. My name is Harry Jowsey. You can find me everywhere. Cool. And your <laughs> podcast is coming back, it's yeah? Coming back. You can stay tuned for that. Yes, yeah. So we, we talk about everything but sport. So. Cool. I'm exactly. so glad I got to take you out of your comfort <laughs> yeah. zone today. Yeah. No, I love this. <laughs> thank, you. thank you. All right, you guys, make sure that you like, subscribe, and rate, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Woo. What's up guys? It's Rachel Demita. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Courtside Club. Make sure that you like, rate, and subscribe to ESPN's YouTube channel and wherever you listen to your podcast. We have new episodes coming to you guys every single week, so stay tuned for that and I'll see you soon.